Hello dear general and life sciences students. Today's lesson is related to theme technology. And the topic is about this machine could save your life. So why isn't it available? By the end of the session, you will be able to achieve seven learning objectives. One, identify AED automatic external defibrillator function and its significance. 2. Summarize the view of AED advocates. 3. Explain the obstacles of using AED on a wide scale. 4. Identify the rhetoric question and explain its function. 5. Deduce the author's attitude towards AED usage. 6. Explain the functions of the introduction of the text. 7. Identify vocabulary words using context clues. Is technology a curse or a blessing in our lives? A question I need you to think about. It is an argumentative, debatable, controversial topic. Some people support technology others are against it. But if we choose the medical domain, what do you think? Innovative technology has saved many people's lives. Yes. How? By developing an innovative device called AED, as shown in the picture. What is AED? It is the automatic external defibrillator, a small portable computerized battery operated device. What is the function of AED? AED checks the heart's rhythm and sends a shock to the heart to restore a normal rhythm. The device is used to help people having sudden cardiac arrests. Why AED? because it is important. It provides defibrillation. When a person suffers from a sudden cardiac arrest, his or her chances of survival decrease by 7% to 10% for each minute that passes without defibrillation. Automatic external defibrillators make it possible for more people to respond to a medical emergency where defibrillation is required. What does that mean? Time is critical. Time is critical to reach sudden cardiac arrest cases quickly in order to help them survive. The view of AED advocates. Who are the supporters? Who support using AED on a wide scale? Doctors, cardiac arrest survivors, and people in public service. They recommend that it be used not only by doctors and people in the medical profession, but also by custodians, drivers, train conductors, etc. Why? The main reason is it's easy use that doesn't require high training or experience. In other words, anyone who is well trained can use it. What about the view of AED opponents? Who are against using AED on a wide scale? Some legal and bureaucratic obstacles hinder the use of AED on a wide scale despite its advantages. Some officials, like authorities in the government, argue that AED is a medical device that should be used only by doctors and emergency medical technicians to secure safety. In addition to that, AED is expensive. Its cost is $3,000 minimum. Now we reach application exercises. The first question is related to the title of the lesson. This machine could save your life, so why isn't it available? And as you notice, the subtitle is stated in a form of question, known as a rhetoric question. The writer uses such a question in order to trigger the thinking of the reader, to make him or her more curious and more eager to know more about this innovative machine.
The title generates a sense of curiosity in which the reader wonders about the machine that could save man's life. This urges him or her to think about the rhetoric question of the subtitle, so why isn't it available in the midst of this technological era, hoping to find the answer why this machine should be available on a wide scale in the development of the topic in the text. So what is a rhetoric question? It is a question that doesn't expect an answer from the writer, but arouses the curiosity of the reader and makes him think about it. Question number two. The four paragraphs below are the introduction of the text. Read them and then answer the questions 2a and 2b in the next slide. Commercial artist David Dutton, 56, sat on a commuter train, returning from New York City to his Long Island home on the evening of March 20, 1997. Dutton had no known health problems, but as the train clattered through Queens, he suddenly gasped. His face turned a mottled red, and he slumped unconscious in his seat and he became unaware of what was going around. It was 7.30 p.m. He had gone into cardiac arrest. While the train crew called ahead for medical aid, a passenger performed cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR, alternately doing chest compressions and mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing. But Button's heart was seized by the chaotic or irregular rhythm called ventricular fibrillation (VF), and CPR alone couldn't jump start it. Button's only hope was the process called defibrillation, a brief electrical shock that overpowers the irregular VF rhythm so the heart can resume its natural contractions. But by the time a rescue team carrying a defibrillator reached the train, it had been more than six minutes since Dalton's collapse and his heart didn't respond to attempts to restart it. Question 2a. Identify the type of the introduction you read. What purpose purposes does it serve? I'm sure, dear students, you have studied different types of introduction like historical introduction, general to specific introduction, surprising facts introduction, etc. But this one is different. It is known as an anecdote introduction. What do I mean by anecdote? It means a short tale introduction. And there are several purposes behind using it. How do we answer the question? The type of introduction is anecdote. The writer uses Dutton's incident to draw their reader's attention and arouse his, her sympathy and curiosity by focusing on the tragic outcome of the case. In this way, the writer introduces the topic and paves the way for elaboration on the importance of AED. Question 2b. What do you think happened to Dutton? Give evidence from the text to justify your answer. After reading the introduction, you can conclude that Dutton died. Paragraph 4 states that his only hope for survival was defibrillation. And this is the evidence. However, when the team with a defibrillator arrived, they immediately used it. But their efforts went in vain. And the proof stated in this statement, Dutton's heart did not respond to attempts to restart it. So this is the evidence. Question 3. Read the paragraph below and answer the question that follows. The great majority of cardiac arrest victims die before help can reach them, but these deaths are not inevitable. Many of the cardiac arrest incidents each day are clearly survivable, says Dr. Myron Weisfeld, chairman of the American Heart Association's AHA Task Force on Automatic External Defibrillation. Question: What is the attitude of Dr. Myron towards AED provide evidence? When we ask about the attitude of the doctor, we have to go back to the 
paragraph and read one more time his statement. Many of the cardiac arrest incidents each day are clearly survivable. Clearly survivable are two effective words that show how much he is positive and supportive. In other words, he is a supporter. He is in favor of using AED. And the evidence is stated in his quote, clearly survivable. How do we answer the question? Dr. Myron shows a strongly positive and supportive attitude. He is certain that the use of this machine will save the lives of cardiac arrest victims. He stated, clearly survivable. Question 4. If you were an authority in a government, would you facilitate the use of AED? Why or why not? The answers to this question may vary. It depends on your personal attitude towards using AED whether you are in favor of using it or not. In both cases, you have to clarify your attitude provided with reasons. For example, yes, it should be used by doctors, custodians, drivers, and train conductors. The main reason is it's easy use that doesn't require high training or experience. And to save as many as possible cardiac arrest incidents, taking into consideration the efficiency of time. No, it should be used only by doctors and emergency medical technicians to secure the safety of the cardiac arrest cases. Also, it is not affordable since it costs $3,000. Question 5. Use the context clues to infer the meaning of each underlined word in the paragraphs. There are four underlined words, unconscious, chaotic, resume, and collapse. What do I mean by context clues? Context clues are the words that surround the underlined word and help you guess its meaning. For example, the context clue that would help you understand the meaning of unconscious is unaware, which means not aware. The context clue that would help you understand the meaning of chaotic is irregular which means not regular, not organized. The context clues that would help you understand the meaning of resume are Dutton's need of defibrillation to regulate his heart rhythm. So you can infer that resume means restart forcefully. And the context clues that would help you understand the meaning of collapse are his heart didn't respond to attempts to restart. This would let you understand that collapse means failure or end. Let us do this application. Fill in the blanks with correct words to complete the sentences. Make any necessary changes. The words in the box are unconscious, chaotic, resume, and collapse. Number one, he is a sort of a person always trying to do 20 things at once. Always trying to do 20 things at once indicate that this person is not organized. So the correct word is chaotic. Number two, he thought his whole word had when his father died. When his father died, he felt that his world had ended or his life had ended. So the correct word is collapse. Number three, she was hit on the head by a stone and knocked. How did she feel about it? She was unaware. So the correct word is unconscious. Finally, number four, he stopped to take a sip of water and then resume speaking. Resume means restarted speaking after he stopped taking a sip of water. At the end, what are the main areas that you acquired in this lesson? Positive innovative technology is evident in the medical domain producing AED. 
AED is the automatic external defibrillator, a small portable computerized battery operated device that could save many cardiac arrest cases. The writer shows positive and supportive attitude towards AED because of its easy use that doesn't require high training or experience. On the other hand, officers are cautious about its wide availability because it should be used only by doctors and emergency medical technicians for patient safety. Thank you so much, dear students. I wish you all the best of efforts and results.